morning, everyone. Morning. It's 5.30, and we just left the house. We're on our way to Swap Meet. Swap Meet. Uh, it's Swap Meet at the farm on Carter Hill. It's in Marlboro, Connecticut. Pre-63 Automotive Parts Swap Meet, hosted by Matt Firestone and Josh Wilson. I know Matt Firestone is a member of the Others Car Club. I don't know as if Josh is or not. I believe he probably is. Uh, so we're on our way down and we're looking forward to hanging out with a bunch of friends and meeting some new people and seeing some of you guys. And hopefully it's going to be a good day. Yeah. See ya. with this old hot rod and it is late on sunday or no what, what day was the swap me i don't even know what day it is it's sunday so it's late sunday afternoon and we just got back from the swap meet a little while ago um i didn't film at the swap meet and the reason for that is we got there a little bit late later than i wanted to because miss Allie needed her beauty sleep and she didn't want to wake up very early. So we got there a little bit later than I originally had wanted to. And we took a quick walk around just to see if there was anything that caught our eye or my eye. Allie had some shopping to do for her 2021 challenge. And I ended up picking up this really cool, it's like yard art or it's... I don't know, art piece or something that was homemade that I'll show you guys in a second. It's really cool. Um, I picked that up. I picked up three HJ frog mouth scoops. So I had one other one that I've had for a few years. I've never seen uh, any other ones. So I was able to pick up three. So I have four HJ frog mouth scoops that I'll be able to run on the 34. So I'm really excited about that. Got a really good deal on those. Uh, but in any event, we took a quick walk around. Uh, again, we got there a little bit later than I had planned. So I bought a few things, got back to the truck, tucked those things away. And when we pulled everything out of the truck, we kind of just had people at the space at my little vendor spot pretty much nonstop all day. So I did not walk around the swap meet again. Um, I, I didn't leave my truck until... I think I just walked to go to the bathroom and back. Um, but what we ended up doing was Mike from Part Swapper was there. As a lot of people saw, I did a little thing on Part Swapper Live. So that was fun. Sold a few things on Part Swapper. And just kind of hung out afterwards. Me, Mike, Roy Eidman, Allie, and my buddy Dave. He's down from Connecticut, probably about 30 minutes from there. He hung out for a while. So we were there. The swap meet ended at at noon we didn't leave there till four o'clock it was just us uh with a bunch of locals hanging out listening to music had a couple of beers ate some food fed the chickens uh it was just a great time so i took a walk around shot some video see so i'm gonna show you guys that so basically what the video is i'm just gonna do like a walk around video show you the property again i didn't videotape the actual swap meet or any vendors or the parts uh if we make it down to the next one, which I am planning on going, <clears throat> that swap meet has motivated me to get out and go picking. And if anybody's interested in a really cool swap meet, you gotta check this swap meet out. If you're local to New England or Connecticut, uh, you gotta check this swap meet out. So I can only imagine it's just gonna keep getting better and better as time passes. Matt and Josh had said to me that they're gonna be doing one a month which is crazy. So now I'm motivated to get out, do some picking, and then be able to restock for next month. Um, I'll have to tally up what I sold for the day on Sunday and see if I can and be see if I can beat that amount next month. So 
Um, just a little goal. I like setting goals for myself and that's a goal. It's a challenge and I like challenges. Kind of just want to show you guys the property, the farm at Carter Hill, what it's all about. Um, it's got to be a ton of work to own a place like this. It must have taken a lot of time to get to the level that the owners of the property are at. And you'll understand what I mean when you see the video. Uh, but just, just sit back, enjoy it. Going to listen to some music. I really didn't talk much. Just walked around and just, I had my GoPro. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, a little bit of a wide angle lens shot. And it did start to rain towards the end. So I kind of was trying to get through it quick before I got rained on. Uh, and my food was ready, as you'll hear Ali screaming my name. Your food's ready. Blue Bug? I mean, I, I've never gone by Blue Bug, but I could. I'm not Blue Bug. Am I Blue Bug? This is Roy's. Yeah, this is Roy's. Thimble. I don't know what that is. Is this yours? I heard my name out here, and I'm Blue Bud. Blue Bud? That's me. I don't know what I don't need a blue one. I a lot of money. Okay, so one's right. All right, so we'll grab a table. I'm going to go walk around. Shoot some video. This is Dave. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave.
Okay. You screaming at me? Yeah. Well, you need to relax. Enjoying the ambiance. You guys can't, you're not allowed to sit at tables? Come on, let's be, ci let's be civilized. Hey, what's up, chicken? That, th that three window, window is pretty fucking badass. Oh my god, Good I sound. love the louvered panel on the top. Good sound. I bet you could feed him chicken, he did it. That oh, was lightning. Plus, the, he jumps. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> jumps off the ground again. <laughs> I've had a vicious attack. <laughs> yeah. I had this in my finger it and it burned off. Have you fed the chicken? <laughs> when you hold yeah. this, it's gone in like one second. <laughs> they're, they're very domesticated though. Yeah. Gosh, that's oh, yeah, lightning. Loves them. Sweet potato. What's up, buddy? Sure. Ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got to just jump like six inches off the ground. Can you pat him? No. Yeah, pat him. Oh yeah? yeah? Can you? If you want your finger going. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Go pat him. Well, I don't know. Come here, buddy. No, he's good. That's the human race, right? Come here, buddy, to a chicken. <laughs> What's up, guys? This guy's just chilling. I don't have any food. Alright. <laughs> So, Hal Carpenter was the one. Carl Carpenter. He originally worked at New England Speed and then he went out on his own. Oh. What do you video think? Stop videoing us. I have one of these for my uh, phone. Yeah. Oh, the uh, gimbal? Gimbal. Oh, yeah. I'm doing something like you could. It's, it's good. It's a good one. Yeah, you get the, yep, up and down. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Okay. And there was a, a place right down the street in Hinch, Nesa, that you, they used to build motors and stuff. And then uh, there was another guy that used to run down Lake Hoop that used to run a pillar uh, 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 He could shift that 39 train and make that thing go by. I don't know how many train he did. But then he went and put, put a price on it. Okay. So where was Johnny Holzer? Johnny what? Johnny Holzer. Holzer. Okay. But he lived right down the street, right in the street. Okay. I want to put. I want to have Kachichuit Speed. I wanted the name of the speed shop so I can put it on the hood sides. Oh, all right. Yeah. Of the yeah. Well, I can. I can still. Paul would probably know too. Tim called me and said, "Here's George's number calling." Well, I called him, and I didn't. Kind of didn't have a lot of like I had some questions I wanted to ask him, but I was like a little nervous talking. To him. Yeah, yeah, I just did. I you know the things couldn't come to me quick enough to ask him the questions I wanted to, so I forgot to ask him what the name of the speed shop was. So it's Kachichuit Speed. That was like I said, that was back in the sixties. In the sixties, the coupe he had built the coupe sixty two into sixty three. Yeah, that's when I was thirty four. Years that I was drag racing. Really. I had my uh, was C Castle, which I was right on the national record with it. It was a 17 year old kid. <laughs> now, what was that car? It was a 54 Ford. Wow. With the uh, set pad, that uh, engine, yep. and everything else, because you get like 10% of the wheelbase to the full spot. That's what it was? Okay. Put the firewall and everything, put the back seat. I had a vertex mag, and uh, we were running uh, uh, 498 V's on it and all kinds of stuff, you know. The record at that time was 13 1. But yeah, scary. Yeah. I was I don't know what to do. It's okay. Just I I to go. It's like 12 9 9 just that I, I broke into the 12. So back home, that, was, that was a big deal. When the, when the national record was 13 1. You know, yeah. <laughs> her car that was a 17 year old kid built in the backyard. Yeah. You know, which no, most no, of them no, called no, basically no, backyard. Yeah. yeah. Now, what other cars did you have that you built? I never yeah. did that much. No. You know, yeah. I did a lot of stuff and a lot of fabrications out of that. But I never did that much of my own. No. Not that I couldn't. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, okay. I did a lot of small stuff on the table. Yeah. That's when I did it to the roof. Uh, uh, I was doing the wheels. I wish I'd stuck with that. What do you mean the wheels? I do all kinds of things. People get all the like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, 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 and all these wheels. Yeah. I was into doing that so they really? back in the, in, the, uh, in the 80s and stuff. You would build hand I the wheels. I kids a wheel. They yeah. yeah. like, uh, out of one place in California, no, in California, and I used to get them out of Plymouth Wheel out of Chicago. I'd have skids of wheels coming out. Uh, yeah. But I would yeah. make them right there, and I'd take them and change the centers and take like yeah. the center I was in there. the different there and different I was there, I'd pass out. Wow. Yeah, how long did you do that for? Probably 10 years. No kidding, wow. I was doing fabrication and stuff. Yeah. That's what you enjoy doing was the fabrication, working on, you know, just building stuff. I think Paul and I are about the same age. I think so, yeah. Yeah. He, he's a little younger, a little older than I am. Yeah, he was here earlier. I didn't get. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't get to talk to him. I wanted to talk to him. He's a good guy. Such a great guy. Yeah. Pete and I are planning on going back up. We, like I had said earlier, we met him at his shop, but he invited us to the house, and I haven't been to his house. I've heard it's quite impressive, but I haven't been there. So I'm looking to go and spending some time with him and talking to him. Yeah. I love just like, I love talking to guys like yourself, getting the history, and, yeah. you know. Cause, well, a lot of these guys have a lot more of the history than I do. No, but still, you have your own history, which is it's just great to hear it. Yeah. You got your hands on a lot of stuff. A lot of good times, man. Those yeah. times will never be again. I know. We can hope for the best, but yeah, no, no, you're right. No, they're gone, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just trying to. Grasp what we can at this point now. You know? yeah, or as they say, adjust accordingly. <laughs> you're a machine, Allie. You still feel guilty when you're a parent, don't you? Oh, yeah, naturally. 
you're guilt. It's it's uh, it guilt. Off. It kills you slowly on the inside, like a demon. You get the bills are still oh, yeah. there. Yeah. The bills are slowly, still there, Mike. But that's the thing. That's what you can't. It's like you have to balance, and it sucks. So you drink beer. I'll bleep that. So that's the t-shirt, right? Yeah, it sucks, so you drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> See, I have a great idea. Sweet. We have this, yeah. this words of wisdom from Mike. <laughs> we have this Allie's words of wisdom. Life sucks, so drink beer. We don't. So anyways, I just want to get back to it. Uh... Did really good today. Park Swapper Mike was there. He did a live video today on Instagram. And I sold a bunch of stuff. I had sold some stuff earlier before that, but Mike definitely helped move a few things along. So thanks a lot, Mike. I appreciate it. I want to show you one really cool thing that I picked up. It was early in the morning when Ali and I got there. We showed up at about quarter of eight, 7.30, quarter of eight. I walked around first before I set anything up because I just wanted to take a quick walk around and see what people had. And I saw this weird thing and i wasn't sure what it was but i saw it and i knew it was cool so i ended up buying this it's like this hand-built little roadster thing it looks like there was some door tops that came down here and then maybe another piece this is all uh, body filler and another piece here that maybe went across the back i don't know what these little posts here were from but it looks like at some point in time there was a deck lid on it it was cut off but, I mean, check this thing out. It's just super cool. It's got a little column drop. It's got a shifter, a little, you know, makeshift transmission tunnel. It's got the gas cap. Recessed firewall. I don't know what the person was going to do with it. Looks like maybe there was some type of a bumper. So, I don't know if this was like a homemade pedal car back in the day. I really don't know. But, it's just so super cool. I just had to buy it. So I ended up buying this this morning. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Allie and Dylan, we'll all work on it together. All right, so I, just, I picked up that thing. It's just really cool. Like I said, it's just something different. I would never seen anything like that. Uh, Allie picked up a pair of BLC guide headlights. These are known as the percolator headlights or gumdrop headlights. They're old chrome. We had these on we had these on Part Swapper Live, and I hit it with some WD-40 and some Triple like, Zero Steel Wool or something like that, and uh, it cleaned right up. So, Ali purchased these this morning, and we sold them today on Part Swap Live, or actually after Part Swap Live. Uh, a friend of ours ended up buying them off of Ali, so she was really excited about that. Like I said, I I sold a bunch of stuff. And what I ended up picking up was we have Allie's trailer in the in the uh, in the garage now. So what I ended up picking up was HJ Frogmouth scoops. So these are early all old chrome. You can see them there. I ended up picking up those this morning. Actually, the headlights that Allie purchased. We purchased those off of a viewer. So thank you. I appreciate it. It was a really good, really good deal on the headlights. Like I said, we cleaned them up and Allie already sold them. Um, and he had said, is this for your 2021 challenge to Allie and I? And I think it kind of knocked Allie back on her heels. She wasn't expecting that. So I got a good laugh out of it. Yeah, it was just really funny. I also ended up buying, if you've, if you've ever heard of the name Roy Eidman, okay, it said I just mentioned I was talking to him for a while. Roy is a very well-known louver guy he's been doing louvers since 1977 he asked me how old i was and i laughed i said i was two years old when you started doing louvers but he also punches these little louvered key fobs and i'm gonna open this one up real quick and i'm gonna show you what's on it he started stamping the date and his initials on them in 2007 I actually have an early early stainless steel key fob in the 30 coupe and he was shocked when I told him I had that because he only did those he only punched those one time he did one run of the stainless steel ones and he said he doesn't even have one himself so 
So it's really cool that I have one. So hopefully you can see what's on this. I think you can. So these are louvered key fobs that he had actually stamped for Mel at the Race of Gentlemen. And him and Mel never, I guess, like linked up to give them to Mel. And he's got a bag of them. So I ended up grabbing two of these from, from Roy. So thank you, Roy, I really appreciate it. I cherish things like this, especially guys like Roy. Like I said, he's a long time hot rodder. As far as I'm concerned, he's a, he's a local legend in the hot rod world up here in, in New England. Uh, he's definitely known probably worldwide, to be honest with you. So whether you believe it or not, Roy, you, you probably are known worldwide, if not nationally. Uh, but he makes these little key fobs. This one's Trog. He has some other ones. And I asked him if it would be possible to do a run of this old hot rod key fobs. And what we'll do is T-O-H-R, this old hot rod. And he said, absolutely. So I'm gonna be reaching out to Roy and I'm gonna do a, hopefully we'll be able to get together and do a run of this old hot rod louvered key fobs. Uh, and that'll be something I'll be able to offer up and I'll do a limited, limited quantity uh, because I think it just makes it special. So we'll sell some, maybe we'll give some away in the future when that happens. So keep an eye out, be watching. Hopefully I can get these, get, hopefully I can get linked up with Roy pretty soon and we can get these things in, in the process or in production. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for them. So again, I didn't buy too much today, just a few things. Allie picked up those headlights. Like I said, she already sold them, so she, she's really happy. So now she's got some extra money to spend in her 2021 challenge. And uh, I wanted to do an intro to the remainder of the video. You guys gotta check this place out. There's just so much going on. I did a quick walk around, which was probably 20 minutes with my GoPro. Uh, it started to rain towards the end, so I was kind of rushing through a lot of the, the the other outbuildings but i just wanted you guys to get a, a sense of what this place is all about this is the first time i've been there the property is known as the farm at carter hill and it's in marlboro connecticut on route 66. so do some research do some googling you got to check this place out if you're into old trucks old hot rods you know vintage anything gas and oil porcelain signs gas pumps I definitely had a blast today. Again, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Josh. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Mike, Part Swapper Mike. Thanks, Roy. Uh, my buddy Dave hung out with me all day. Uh, him, you know, Allie and I, and just everybody that we met. We met a ton of viewers. I got to sell some stuff, bought a few things. It was just all in all, it was a good day. Good weather, good people. You just can't ask for anything better than that. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.